so first let me create a auto scaling group right so i'll go to auto scaling panel so select auto scaling group but before we have to create what that logical group right so we have a two kinds of logical group what and all launch template and launch configuration i hope you know the difference and all right okay so i'll go to my launch configuration uh, then i'll create a launch configuration or launch template so in this scenario i'm going to create launch configuration instead of launch template you can select either one or both okay so instead of using launch configuration so they are recommending to create launch template we already know that right but because in future we might not be get the support from uh, aws exactly so i'll create a launch template ls application so i'll select one of the ama so i'll do one thing i'll go to my dashboard so select instance launch instance so let me get this ama id first okay so this is the ama amazon linux ama i'll go to configuration and paste over here and you can see that that ama over here i'll copy this so instance type we can select a instance type t2 dot micro that is enough then choose then ama role if it is required you can add or else you can leave this option create a security group or else you can use existing one so i'll use uh, one of the security group all traffic choose existing key pair yeah i'm using existing one mumbai key i acknowledge then i will create a launch configuration okay so successfully created i'll go to my auto scaling group so create auto scaling group ls auto scaling group sg so now i'll select my uh, launch configuration click on launch template then after you can select your launch configuration ls so you can see the all the information including security group and all i'll, I'll select next select your vpc and availability zone so i'm going to select three availability zone then next so if you want you can select elb uh, but uh, you required elastic load balancer connection as of now i don't have any elastic load balancer i'll select next so minimum and maximum desired capacity what i can do here i can uh, give a three desired capacity minimum also three sorry ma uh, minimum also three and maximum is five so automatically it will create three virtual machines on my auto scaling group click on next 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 so click on creating auto scaling group so it will create auto scaling group along with we will be get three virtual machine okay in our auto scaling group so then i'll show you how to reboot a instance uh, without any downtime okay so we have a three method so you have to remember the three method and if you getting any question you have to tell them okay so you can see that updating the capacity and desired capacity 3 i'll refresh i'll refresh if i go to my instance tab uh, we supposed to see three instances you can see that two as pending and one more instance has to be created okay let it create i'll go to auto scaling group select this okay it's creating let's wait okay here you can see that we have a three instances now right and three are healthy right so here what we can do here so we can click uh, this one of the we can select one of the instance okay first go to instance management so click on what instance, instance one of the instance then we have a two option first detach and set to standby see if you select detach this instance will be detached from this auto scaling group then you can use this instance for any other purpose okay so i'll show you that detach and we have one more option what is it auto scaling group for example if you want to reboot your instance you want to detach right so at that time automatically it will go it will come out from auto scaling group then user would not be able to access the particular instance right so at that time if you want to manage your load you can what you can do you can click over here automatically they will compensate one more virtual machine okay so anyway i am not going to select this option i will just detach my instance okay okay so the problem is here you can see what is my minimum desired capacity 3 that's what so i have to reduce the count then i can use uh, detach mode okay so that's what they are telling auto scaling ls age minimum 3 and maximum size and desired 3 
to detach one instance please update auto scaling group size approx uh, accordingly or appropriately okay so we have to do that we, then we have to uh, make it fast okay so same as we have one more option that is set to standby what is it set to sta standby uh, it will come to standby mode which means that when the user is accessing the request will not go to that particular virtual machine but when your primary is down mm -hmm. automatically it will go to the standby but we have to manually we have to set that okay mm -hmm. and one more option we have to reboot our instance okay just come down i think uh, we will be able to find in details so come down tag okay over you see suspended process see when we rebooting so we know that automatically it will shut down so when it shut down automatically our auto scale will be determined this particular instance is unhealthy so it will unterminate right so what we can do there we can go to edit then we can go to suspended process then we can select health check health check see it will not check health check even if the system is a down it will not check health check it is not going to terminate so we have a three options okay if you want to reboot your system or if you want to recover from any troubleshooting for example server is not able to access due to some reasons maybe ebs is full so we need to stop or we need to start some some scenarios so at that time you can use these three options either we can detach and we can stand make it standby or else we can suspend the process okay so that you have to remember so now let me create a load balancer then i'll do that refresh <coughs> see and one more thing see so we have a virtual machine over here right so this virtual machine it's not part of my what existing existing auto scaling group right suppose are uh, you getting a question i already have a one virtual machine it's out it's already keeping an outside of my auto scaling group but you have you have a wish to add this virtual machine into auto scaling group then what we can how we can do that see we have an option over here actions one minute so we have an option action so here you can see that instance settings and attached to auto scaling group so select this option and we have a two option uh, auto scaling group select your auto scaling group ls asg and you can attach this instance to your auto scaling group see so this instance i created outside of my auto scaling group right right but even you can add this virtual machine into that auto scaling group so we have a method okay any doubt regarding that